My name is Josh Marcus. I am an upper limb amputee. Two days after my first set of law school finals, I got into a jet ski accident where I lost my arm above the elbow. It's always been my thing where I'm not gonna let what happened to me, a freak accident, stop you know, living life and doing what I'm doing. I met Josh Marcus about five years ago. Josh came in, you know, as many new amputees do, not knowing quite what to expect, and we started a process of fitting. He had a challenging fit in that he's a stocky, strong kid. When he flexed his muscles, his arm shape changes completely. So after we went through the fitting challenges that we went through, we got a good fit, and we went directly into a dynamic arm from Autobach, which was a no-brainer. Autobach had the dynamic arm, it's electric, it can move, as opposed to a body power. All I had to do was flex my bicep and boom, arm goes up and down. My thought process was, I want the best available. And so that it would give me sort of a happy, I would say a happy medium between function and aesthetics. I don't want it to define me. Tell me about your last meeting with the partner. I was uh, talking to one of our other partners, Saul, and Saul indicated you're aware that uh, Josh does not have a uh, left arm, it has a prosthetic arm. And I said, you're joking. And so I had to <laughs> casually go up to Josh while he was at his desk and sort of just peer over. And then I said, I think that's right. We talk about golf all the time and he's playing golf now. He's beating up on some of our other attorneys in tennis. So it hasn't impacted his life, his athletic ability. It's just totally natural. Everything's about attitude, and Josh has the perfect attitude. There's not a day that goes by that he doesn't wake up with a positive mentality. With his prosthetic arm, he can really do every normal task, whether it's buttoning up his shirt, opening up a can of soda, putting furniture together from Ikea. As a parent, it was so difficult, but his positive attitude, his joking, was incredible. He came to after surgery, and he said, Boy, it's a good thing I wasn't going to be a surgeon, he said, but I'm going to be the best one-armed attorney there is. It's good for me to see as his older brother. I was with him during the accident, and it was probably the hardest day of my life. It's nice to see that he's able to do everything that he was able to do before. You got to keep moving. You got to keep living your life. Don't let an amputation stop you, because no one else will let it stop you. You'll be the only person. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you to my sweetheart, Deborah, for helping put everything together. Cheers. 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 Cheers.